all the Maverick and Comet guys. Here is a Fox body wing on a Comet or Maverick. So if you center it basically right there and then center it over here about the same, you can see we fall a little bit short on width, but if you don't want to do anything, you can make this wing work. So if you had a buddy that was selling a Fox body wing, you could actually make a Fox body wing work on a Comet. Now, what I've got going on is I do have a spooler already on here that I just have this sitting on, resting on right now. And I just have it resting on my parachute because I just wanted to just eyeball it and see what we were looking like. Um, but yeah, I mean, you technically, if you could get a good deal on a used wing off of a Fox body, you can make it work. Um, your 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 trunk line is right here so your hinge is right there so i mean that would be really close um you could cut this a little more square get rid of this curve and you could cut this back a little bit um or clearance it to go around that and you could be done man you can mount the uh lower pieces down to the bumper you'd have to probably make an extension on them um You'd have to, you know, do some kind of extension or get them up there to the tail light housing. I don't know. But you could definitely make this work. Um, I might be putting it on this car, uh, changing it up. Uh, I was going to do a whole one-piece wing, basically. So I'll go ahead and tell you what I was going to do is I've already purchased the aluminum for it. Um, I was going to go from here and come all the way down to back here out of one piece of aluminum. and have a whole aluminum sheet. And then have no struts going down, actually have braces under it coming out. So it's a strutless wing, basically. And then have it where this Zeus is off. So you pick the whole deck lid, spoiler, everything built in together. Super lightweight because it would literally just be aluminum Zeus stone. But uh, I was going to do that over Christmas break. And then I decided just to kind of hold off on it and not do it right away. Um yeah so i was gonna build my own and then randy ended up he's gonna replace this one because it's pretty tore up so you've got a bin going in here um, like this just from being on his car thrashed around and then if we've run down this lip right here uh you know right there you can see it's just yeah you can see all that it's just tore up nothing that can't be fixed but randy's putting together a brand new car i am too but i'm on a budget Randy looks like he's not on a budget. <laughs> That's between him and his banking account because uh, he spent way more on his car than I have spent on my car. But so I take secondhand stuff. So I asked him, I said, hey, how much will you sell that wing for? We got talking and me and him, you know, worked out our business on, um, you know, the wing. So I'm, you know, might use this and, you know, I can take this off, dolly all this back straight. It's missing a bunch of bolts. It's missing actually a bunch of 90s, the pieces that go in here, but you don't technically need them all. Um, I actually may just, I mean, there's a bunch missing, but I have enough where I could do them every other one and space them out. Um, you know, obviously it's not hard to rebend this back straight, take it off, dolly it, lay it out, bend it back straight. Um, uh, obviously i know a guy who knows how to paint and i could paint it i could take off the uh let's see what is that yeah it's a white decal the racecraft decal actually and we do make our own decals at the shop uh, mike has a plotter so we can measure out the height of this font and literally make a banner that says like the paint and paper hustle for the back of the car with the youtube channel on it so that would be pretty sick or put it on the deck lid um you know, and then we could weld uh, extensions on this. Mike's uh, excellent TIG welder, uh, you know, good enough. He doesn't like his work, but it works for me. Um, and then, yeah, just touch it up. These end pieces, I bent this one out already because I was just playing around with it before I filmed it. This one over here, if you look, it's a lot, you know, it's just straight like that. And then it needs to be dollied where something's hit this. But if you take this over here and we drag this thing down without dropping it on the car on camera and scratching everything up. So if you look down that, it's not, that's not terrible, right? But what I basically did is I took my hands and just bent this out because it has a 90 uh, built into it up here, built into the wing. But it's not like you can't change that up or, you know, you can form metal. But when you bend this out, it, it moves the uh, strut location in more, which is no big deal. I mean, this would all be custom anyway and save me some money. But 
I could definitely bend this thing out so that it's more um, flush with the car. It wouldn't stay up that high. Obviously, this would come off, and then this would get mounted to the uh, deck lid. Um, yeah, just got to decide how I want to do it. And I don't know. I'm going to look up a little bit more tonight on these cars. The spoilers, I've got some pictures changed. I don't think normally on these cars they run them all the way out to here. I think they actually shift them in because, um, as you can see, you'd be floating out here a little bit because of you can't mount this, you know, to here and then it's still open. So I think a lot of people actually leave them in, but it's just, it's not bad like that. And I've seen some spoilers that, you know, are off the trunk lines and then the quarters stick out a little. So they kind of drop back. And another thing I could do is take this and cut this at an angle, you know, and just bring that plate in basically a little bit and put, you know, a 90 under there to bolt that back too. That way it kind of looks like it's done on perfect. But like I said, I'm going to look at a couple Mavericks tonight that I have saved and see what other people are doing. But I just wanted to show y'all real fast that if you could get a hold of a Fox body wing, there are millions of Fox bodies out there. People are probably selling damaged wings and you're a Maverick comic guy. Uh, definitely would be a good start to uh, make some minor modifications and make it work for you. And you can literally roll it like this. I've seen some really ugly crap um, on some Mavericks that, you know, the wings are like up high or they're just a boxy off the back and they don't have no curve. I mean, the advantage to this is you already have, you know, all these curves cut. You already have this little bit of deflection. So as the wind rolled around here, you know, it kind of curve it and pull it that way anyway. Um, so it's not a bad design. And like I said, when you bring this down, when I get rid of that other little lip right there, which right now is helping it not scratch the car, then it actually wouldn't look that bad because this would be, you know, we trimmed this up and it would be tucked, you know, up in here. So, but I just wanted to show you all that because I'm always Googling or YouTubing, trying to find, you know, what other people have done to kind of help me think about things. And it seems like there's never anything out there. So... Yeah, if I chop this thing up and modify it, then I'll definitely make a video on it. If I want to go wider, then what I'm going to either do is take this whole thing apart, trace this out on another piece of aluminum and go one piece. Or if I want to keep the nice built-in 90 degrees that the end, you know, go to. I mean, I could go to the local metal yard and have them bend that. You can see right there how there's a 90 actually built into right there. Okay, it's bent into that. So it's a nice piece versus having to put more rivets or something to mount something if you don't have a bender and i don't have a break in here or at the shop so i could literally just split this thing down the center and then build an um, extension basically just extend the center what is that uh, two inch lead size so four inches maybe extend the center four inches and either have mike weld that which would probably not be a good idea or just literally um put uh joints and it's, I don't know, it'd probably be better to just make the whole piece and not worry about the stupid 90s and just put some little brackets, little 90 degree brackets, like at the, did you find at the hardware store? I used to have some. So they sell little things like this, you know, at Lowe's. Um, I mean, they sell them way smaller where there's only one hole to there, but you could get a pack of little ones of these. And then what you could do is just bolt them, you know, on the underside. You could basically just bolt them and bend that out to whatever angle. And you, if you bolted that there and then you bent this out, you could actually even get that more to match that because our quarter panels actually roll out, you know, a decent amount. So you'd have to, you know, if that's a 90, you'd actually bend that tab out to about, let's see here. If that's a 90, you bend that tab out, something like that. So, you know, you could easily just do that. And I, and I could do that too. I might do that. Or you could also just go to your metal yard or Lowe's and get a piece of um, aluminum 90. Like corner iron would be iron, but, you know, aluminum. And I have these pieces. It's just a steel. I don't want this. But you could pick up something like this and bolt it under there and then bolt the wings too. Or, um, you know, pick it up an aluminum 90 like that, but a real small, a uh, real way smaller piece. But... Thank y'all for letting me waste your time, and this is really basically catered towards the Mustang, or not the Mustang, the Maverick Comet guys um, that want to know 
you know, what it would look like or if they could use Fox body parts because we are, we don't have a ton of stuff that are for our cars that are budget friendly. Uh, the Fox body guys have everything and this would definitely um, help some people out. So like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully enjoy this little tip if you're a Maverick guy and I greatly appreciate everything y'all are doing to grow the channel.